over here in the for sale corral part four. It's another square body. This one has um Kragars on it. I'm telling you, man, you can never go wrong with this wheel. C10. It's a diesel. Oh, he wants to trade for a diesel. So that's his phone number. That's what he wants. C10 Bonanza. It's a Bonanza trim line. This is a GMC, right? It's a GMC. It's a Bonanza. Under me store. Saddlebags. Twin tanks. Oh, Chevrolet. Didn't know that. <clears throat> Bondo cracky right there. Jeez. Unrestored. Ford F100 Custom Same. For sale oh, This guy made a whole newsletter uh, mm. <clears throat> 17,500 Jamie Somewhere in Maryland They're leaving on Saturday, and they don't want to take the thing back home, so. Yeah, it's a very nice looking truck. It's for its age. 1972. So that's a 72 grill. And I noticed the turn signals came down here versus being above the grill. I don't know what that's about, but 72. And over here, we got a steak truck next to it. <clears throat> this is a steak truck. This is a Chevrolet steak bed, dually axle. I bet that frame is boxed. Oops, riding on wood too. You see that? Frame is riding on wood. I have no idea what they think to do. This is a C30, two-wheel drive, manual, well, what would you do with this one, let's go, 8-cylinder 350, 1972, <clears throat> let me just show you here, 72, 21,500. Here's the phone number. What you do with these is you dump that steak body, that steak bed. You dump that steak bed and you put a work bed on there. And then, you know, it was me. You pull out this 350 from this era in that manual and you put in a 350 from a later area like from the early or mid 90s when those vortex you know I get a nice little you know, four speed five speed manual or at least an automatic with overdrive and with that work body you just make a nice little work truck you know utility bed like a, a nap hide or a redding something like that you know 
So you got the number for these three. There's another Chevy van right here. The Scooby-Doo mystery van. That apparently was turned into a camper. Going, Scoob. This is one, you know. This is one of those unibody vans. That General Motors copied Ford from when they made their Falcon van. 1964 Chevy. 7800. This van was built on the Chevy 2 chassis, which was the Nova. Just like the Falcon van was built on the Falcon. And the Dodge A van was built on the Valiant. You know. Concession places are closed. So if a guy wanted a sausage, just uh, I'm out of luck. You know, it smells like gasoline. It's got a this top up here like it's a camper van or something. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys something. Show you guys something. It's awesome. Yeah, it's a Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it could be you. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's just you and Shaggy, and then, uh... Yeah, it's cool, yeah. Going down to the Bottle it's Redemption cool. Center. You gonna make a mystery van? You gonna make a mystery van? I was gonna, you know... I was trying to recapture my youth. Yeah, right, right. And I just... I, I bought it, and I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. This is where I'm at with. It's a neat old van. You don't see them anymore. No, you don't. You, know, you can't go wrong with those cray guards, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Those cray guards. Are just... I had those in the garage. Oh, yeah? For years, yeah. So everybody else got them in the garage. I bought them from a guy. <laughs> yeah, he had them in the garbage. He didn't even want them. Because <laughs> he don't want them. Those are Kragars, man. They make yeah. everything look good. Yeah, right. Exactly. They make Especially every... back in the day, right? Yeah, but they make everything look everything good now. Everything looks good with the Kragars. Even now. You put those wheels on anything. You put them on a school bus. <laughs> sure. You know? You know, but... Uh... All right, guys. This is For Sale Corral, Part 4. So I got the numbers for these guys. If you like them, just uh, stop, pause the video, scribble down the number, and give the owner a call. Because I've got to get myself something to eat. All right? Grace.